It's basically a trophy bass lake. I gotta get a real rod, line, and lures for 10 bucks? We catch a big one, it's gonna be a miracle. Oh, I'm terrified to get a tank on. So we kinda need to make some adjustments and decisions. I just don't have any confidence over here, man. Um, yeah, you might have one too. Yep. Oh, come on, let's go. I got one. Yeah, I got one too. Let's go. Yep, 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 What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Fishing with Norm YouTube channel. In today's video, we're doing a 1v1, v1, v1 Walmart fishing challenge. This has been our most suggested video in the comments down below. Today's contestants include me, myself, Fishing with Norm. Uh, AO fishing right now. I was told to change my name multiple times, but I don't know who I am anymore. I'm gonna make a suggestion right now. 10,000 likes in this video, this man will change his channel name to whatever you guys say. Does what? that sound fair? That sounds fair to me. We also have Dangling with Dev. Hey, what are y'all doing? Subscribe, hit the like button, notification bell, comment, hey, comment again. Uh, yeah, email. So guys, we're starting this 1v1, v1, v1 out at Walmart. Let's just say how many likes for us to do this at a different store? Three grand. Three well, grand? I messed up. <laughs> keep it running. If it's <laughs> 10,000 seems like a good number to 10, me. 10,000? Yeah. Because then he could change his channel yes. too. So, so 10,000 like likes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we'll be yeah. able to do this video again at a different store and you'll be the badge instead of AO fishing. So we have two boats behind us here. We're going Lojo. T tell them about the spot real quick. It's basically a trophy bass lake, but you can put boats in it. Me and this man right here have caught our personal best five bag limit of bass. And like, what, three times? Yeah, multiple times. It's a hell of a good bass lake. It's gonna be interesting. The official rules that I'm making up that I probably will change later. We're gonna spin the wheel out here. We have a 10, a 25, a 50, and a $100 budget. So each of us okay. will get one of those. Then we have to buy rod, reel, lines, lures, oh, everything you shoot. need to catch a fish yeah. inside the store. And then once we get to the pond, we're gonna spin the wheel again to see what boat we end up on. And the biggest fish in an hour wins today's challenge. So it's like a team thing too. 1v1v1v1, one 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 one, but also 2v2. Yes. Yeah, so you're competing with the people on your own boat. But you want your own team to win too. Who wants to spin the wheel first? Me. All spin right. it, badge. Spin it. Don't take that lose. hundred off the board, badge. I need it. Come here, Come here, that 10's gonna be tough. <laughs> the 10's gonna be tough. <laughs> we we, have to, we, have we to are at Walmart up. though, so you would be able to get. Oh, oh, oh he's gonna oh, get that. Oh, oh, let's go. Oh, let's go. <laughs> I instantly feel better because the only one I was worried about was 10. Because what the hell are you gonna get for 10? dollars The rest of them you can work with. Yeah. I gotta get a real rod, line, and lures for 10 bucks. Yeah, and if you can't get it for 10, you gotta get like just the cheapest thing. Spider-Man combo. You can definitely find a combo with line on it for 10 bucks. Yeah. The boats have terminal and stuff in there, like terminal tackle, no. right? Or do we have to get everything? He doesn't have terminal tackle. Oh, oh shoot. Jackpack has my terminal tackle. He towed my boat and I realized I was like, dude, I'm missing like three reels in my terminal tackle box. You know what it is? He's like, yeah, it's in my garage. Freaking I was like, why? <laughs> Lojo's up next. All right, let's rip it. Don't hit that on. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Here no! we go. There we go, baby. <laughs> That's what I was looking for. You got a hundred? Devin, mean, you want to go or you want me to go? No, nah, you go, you go. You go, all right. So I can either get 25 or 50. So at least the 10 is off the board. Thanks, Aaron, for that. Yo, if I get 100. Oh, it's going to 50. 50. Let's Yay, go. 50. I didn't cheat, I promise. So that means you get 25, 10, 50, 100. Well, that should probably mean me and you are in different boats, though, right? Since we have the biggest budgets. Yeah, but I think we just spin the wheel okay. again. What I, if we I could just you. dominate with like $150 <laughs> big Dude, rolling out there? Good, and they're on their own boat with like 10 bucks. Let's go inside and spend this money, baby. All right, guys, we are here in the Walmart fishing section. We'll go lowest to highest first. So, hey, go ahead and pick break. your stuff first. Also, kind of got to be quiet because this Walmart hates Lojo. They've kicked him out how many times? Times. Oh God, more times I can count. Hey, yeah, and I can Joe, count I to like you. seven. All right, yeah, what are you, you got ten dollars, man. Well, hey, you could right? get this. I was Look for five ninety six, bro. You get the Paw Patrol. Damn, boy. Safety. Hook. I just want a good reel. I don't really care about the rod. Dude, this is nine eighty eight, and you got that's oh, nine rod and reel for spinning. Though. I guess this yeah. would probably be my best bet. Absolutely. Oh yeah. God. Oh guys. <laughs> Broke everyone they had except this one. All right, that's my entire budget, but it does come with line, and it is. My favorite color. So, a, uh, if you, if you end up on my boat, you'll be fine because we got terminal tackle Guggen. If you end up on his boat, I don't know how you're yeah. gonna make how you're gonna make that work. I'm gonna probably just throw something in my pocket really fast. We'll make ten dollars. Well, technically, if you only spend ten dollars, you true. buy ten dollars worth, and you steal an extra twenty dollars lose. You only spend ten dollars. That's next level thinking right there. All right, Dangling, you're up next, man. I got twenty five. You got twenty five dollars. You could get his bait cash, or I you could get something completely. I different. got thirteen eighty eight right here. Oh, upgrade. Oh, actually, yeah. this is what I'm going with because it comes with everything I need. Boom. That's genius, bro. Dang, and you still got a budget left over. You still got eight bucks. I could just live bait. Is that a rule? Can I not live bait fish? You're, whatever $25 buys yeah, you at Walmart, was, that you're allowed to use. That so. was never said. You are overcomplicating the heck out of this. But this could, oh my. Gonna, you know all these cool bait shout out there, though. <laughs> yeah. You school up on shout so, out there. And I, I need see. circle hooks now. Real catfish, I'm circle hooks. trying to catch that whale shark. Yes, I am, son. So I got a rod reel combo with 
bobbers. I don't know what else is in here to be quite honest. I got really, it says all species. I got circle hooks and then live. Whole bait fish. That's is my style of fishing today. So it's my strategy. Cause it's biggest fish, right? Yeah, biggest uh, fish. Yeah. Oh no, if he catches a big yeah. catffish, this game over, true. dude. Very good point. And there's That's big not bass out strategy. there. I'm up next guys, I have $50 to spend in Walmart. So I think I'm gonna even try to get like a little bit of a nicer combo. You know what really stinks, dude? I just bought like all the most expensive reels <laughs> and now we have to buy the cheapest combos at Walmart to use. I should have thought this through. It should have been only lures, but you know, we're all in now. Dude, I think they have like two bait casters in the store. Where are they? Do you see them? Cause I don't see them. Ugly stick right there. I think oh, that might yeah. be the only move. It's the only bait caster, That's man. kind of a move. It's gonna be like fishing with a 10 pound dumbbell, but. Right. <laughs> it's like, all right, guys, I guess my, my first thing is gonna be, I'd rather have like a nicer rod and reel combo cause I only need a couple lures. So we're gonna get the $34. Boy, you're tripping this dog, that's 56, man. Ooh, the GX266 yeah, caster? Yeah, because that's Shakespeare. That's an Ozark trail. You can't get that. You can't Dang it. That's it, a, oh, and you're going to be able to I'm get it, of get course. It Dang right. it. All right, I got to find something for more wow. cheap than that. I can't even afford an ugly stick. We just got all these new combos rigged up, and I was so pumped because we're going to a big bass spot, and we're going to be fishing with super cheap combos. They don't even have a beat caster here. I'm going to have to go spinning, and I'm not comfortable with Dang spinning. Are all the boys about to have spinning combos for this challenge? So let's go. <laughs> I think I'm going to go with the 1984 Shakespeare combo. So this would be $20, but it's like the most expensive one that I can find with a line. So hopefully it'll be my best odds here of catching a fish. It's graphite. That's always nice. You always Ooh. like a graphite rod. Two piece for traveling. There you go. Yeah. Guys, I have to have the best odds at this because we got some hammers and I want to win this thing. But I feel like this is my best option is a $20 combo. There's no $40 one with line on it. They all, they're all just empty. You might want to upgrade your line. You could do that with that extra money. I could. Or you could get some terminal tackle that you know you like. I don't have any terminal tackle, so, so you I'll even take terminal. them for the team here. Right. And everybody yeah. can use the terminal tackle. Where is the terminal Tackle at Walmart. Right they have there. That either. They have really bullet good. weights or are they all like two ounce lead bullet weights? They're probably lead and they're probably garbage, <laughs> but it's fine. I like a little bit more thin. I like that thin wire. There's some bigs out there, man. You sure you want to go with that thin wire? Uh, yeah. Don't question me. So for $2.97, I got me some hooks. I'm, I'm not even halfway through my budget. I don't know what else to buy. Oh, dude, they have tungsten weights. Let's go. I could definitely use some of these. So we'll get two of these, which would make it. That's another 10. You should be right at 50, right? No, this is only 20. So 20, oh. 32. So I could buy some lures too. I guess I'll do that. You could grab a crankbait in the mix for sure. Lojo and I, the last time we were out here, we got on a crazy bite. And probably, how many fish did we catch that day, Lojo? Like probably like 25 or something. And they were schooling, but the bite has changed up. But just in case we see some schooling fish, I'm probably going to get myself a crankbait. So for 492, we're just going to go with the uh, with the old rattle trap. Black back, big clutch guy. Yeah. I, know, I do be liking the clutch. They don't have any Guggen baits in this Walmart yeah, though. Yeah, we're kind of limited. So guys, we have my $20 combo that comes with line and we're gonna keep the stock line on there. You know, I like keeping it stock. We got uh, hooks, weights for the team. Whoever's on my boat lucked out. We got some brand new hooks and weights. Uh, trap, and then we're gonna say that I'm allowed, I think I have like $6 left over, so I'll be able to use a pack of Guggen baits because they're $5.99 in my Walmart at my house. So could get that's some waters because it's gonna be like 85 degrees and these guys, yes. they're not, they can't afford water. So yeah. you could just get like five waters. That's actually, that's a great idea. So I'll, <laughs> I'll, sp I'll spend the out. remainder of my budget <laughs> on water. On Your turn, you got a hundred bucks to spend, which is uh, kind of tough to do in Walmart, I feel yeah, like. Yeah, I know, so. but I feel really good. I mean, we already know what combo to get. The bait casting combo that's in here is this ugly stick, so. It's kind of thick, though. <laughs> it says the action is medium. Look how thick this thing is, bro. Yeah. Like, it's already got line on it. I'm guessing it's like 10, 12 pounds. You know what? I'm going to upgrade the line. That's one thing I got to do. If I've got $100, why not get some heavy line? Especially if there's big bass out there, too. I feel like there's a heartbreak waiting to happen with our stuff. And if you have yeah, a good line, exactly. if you want a big one, keep them on Wait, there. 20's a, little, 20's a little heavy. Of course, they're out of 17. Oh, that's what I needed. You know what? Screw it. Let's just be safe. Go with some 20 pound line. What is that? It's 10 bucks this is 56 that's 66 bucks i can go ahead and get myself some terminal just in case things go haywire i'm gonna get one of these and one of those that's 10 bucks that's 75 76 bucks i think i'm gonna follow you up i'm a big uh if i can't get a guggen a hammer hook then a gamagatsu is the next best thing it will suffice that's an extra six bucks i'm like 80 bucks now i guess i'm gonna go ahead and like crank bait it up too because there are a ton of shad so i'm gonna get a couple of these i definitely am a big clutch guy as well but it's not gonna hurt to have a couple extra cranks in the boat uh, maybe like a spinnerbait or something big strike king guy I don't know about that, but the beautiful thing about this is my budget's so big, I can just buy stuff for no reason. And these guys over here, Dev and Ao, they're just stuck. I'm not gonna do the math on this because I didn't graduate high school, but this seems like it's about $100, would you say? Did you actually say? not graduate high school? No, no I'm I kidding. Oh, okay, because I dropped out of degree. college. No, I got two different college degrees, though. Yeah. Oh, I can snap. count up to 10. All right, guys, we have everything. I spent 50, Loja's got $100. Devin spent 25. AO's got his, I'm uh, his I'm cool $10. I'm going to drop a double. Uh, three <laughs> things winning this challenge. This is it going to be the $100, Lojo, the $50, Dorm, 
the $10 out. Ayo, or the $25. Devin, drop a comment down below. No cheating. We're gonna check everything out, and time to go to the big trophy bass pond. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> nice. I'm just kidding. All right, guys, we are here at the lake. We're gonna go ahead and spin the wheel. We only gotta spin it once. Whoever it lands on is gonna be on my team, so or on my boat. So we'll see how that goes. What if Lojo lands yeah. on it? No. It's you, Devin the dude, and yourself, boy. Oh. Devin oh, the dude, yeah, baby. Let's go. All righty. Squad versus squad. <laughs> so wait, but we're still not teammates, though, right? You're still fishing against the person in yeah, the boat, it's just right? We're split yeah, but we'll like we'll bonus if see which wins. boat wins. Can we help each other land fish on the yes. same boat. We yeah, can okay. if you want okay. to. That's up what? to you. Yeah, we should. In the individually yeah. biggest fish, boat most fish. Do we have scales? I have a scale, yes. yes. So, so we, we can at least do it. the big fish at the yeah. end. Do we want to well our biggest? Yeah, well, well, well our biggest. Well, yeah. Live well, yeah, and then just like come back to the ramp when it's time. Yeah, probably gonna be following you the whole time. So. <laughs> you know, I got that live scope, baby. All right, guys, it's me and Dev versus Lojo and Ao. Let's see who can catch the biggest fish. We're hoping it's gonna be gonna be us. We got actually 15, 25, then the highest and the lowest. So, anyways, let's go ahead and dump the boats in the water. I can do this with my eyes closed. The Florida boys versus the Alabama. Boys. Oh, well, that's true. Lojo is an original Florida boy. Where are you from originally, Lojo? Where are you from? Gatorsville, Florida, baby. Yeah, yep. Gators, baby. Go Gators, man. You already know, dog. <laughs> I went ahead and tied on my rattle trap. Got my $20 combo here, and me and Devin are going to have to show them what's up. We don't have the home turf advantage, so I'm a little nervous, but I think we'll pull yeah, through. Yeah, we got the luck advantage. <laughs> yeah, we do have the we do have the beginner's luck advantage. Me and Devin on my boat versus Lojo and A on their boat. It is going to be right. extreme. And when you add all our totals up together, we almost have the same amount of money. We'd have 75 bucks and I have 110. It's a I pretty mean, fair yeah, game. That is pretty fair. Let's get this thing in the water and uh, start this 1v1 challenge. These guys are so lucky that my live scope is currently not working. I just checked the unit and it's not cutting on, which it does from time to time, it'll blow a fuse. But I don't even think we need the live scope. This is basically me and Badge's home lake at this point, so. You know what, we're gonna go no live scope. That's gonna give them, I think that's gonna even the playing field because they're in a smaller boat. They have not as good gear as we do because we got the $100 gear in here. So let's give them a chance, no live scope. I do have the worst combo here. I don't know if you guys have seen it or not. I caught a 25 pound bag here by myself. All right guys, it's me and, uh, me and Def. You know, we got a lot of work to put in here. We got the middle of the lane, so we didn't get the cheapest, but we also didn't get the most expensive. We're, yeah. we're, we're a supporting team here, you know? I'm supporting Devin, Devin supporting me. If we hook a fish, we're gonna help each other land it. I don't know if there's gonna be banter on the other boat between Lojo and Ayo, because they got the most cheap and the most expensive, and it's a single player game here, but also a team player game. So if we really wanted to, if you had an eight pounder on, I could not help you land it and mm -hmm. to secure my win. Yeah, yeah so, but I, I think we're, you know, we're, we're a team here, so. I don't know what the team ship is looking like <laughs> on the other boat, but um, I'm pretty sure, you know, there's no team and I, so. Guys, we gotta start fishing. There's shad schooling up everywhere. We're starting to get in this fall transition. That's why I got the uh, the old trap on and the jerk bait. We'll start with that. If we're not getting it, we'll slow down, but I'd rather start with moving baits cover water at a spot I don't know, and then we'll slow down. You know, we got some worms. We got some Guggen baits, use code norm. You know, how many times can we say that in one video, guys? We'll see, I'm probably gonna say it again, so. I have the best rod and reel combo easily. I am gonna throw this crap. Should we go straight back to where the point is when it's 10 to 12 foot and that's where the shad is? We can do that. I think that's kind of the move here. All right, Dev, so here's the plan. I know where Lojo and them caught their biggest bag. It was on this bank over here with all yeah. this shade. Uh, they were throwing Texas rigs though, and we got moving baits, but you know, maybe. I know maybe there's big there's fish in that area. Right yeah. And then we caught them schooling around this curve, which I think is where their boat's headed. So I think they're trying to play it smart right now. I finally have rods and reels rigged up on my boat. Got Corrado's high end stuff from a lot of videos. And then right when I finally have everything ready to go, I'm like, boom, Walmart challenge. I'm kind of scared, honestly. Lojo's the only one with a bait caster. I'm, I'm honestly really jealous because I thought it was only $30 and I was gonna be able to get it. And then turns out it was like in the wrong spot and it was 56 bucks. So really none of us had the budget to get it besides Lojo. I don't know, I just don't like throwing spinning gears that much. I'm not as good reeling in as I am with a bait caster because I just don't use it as much. So I'm nervous like for real, but if a big fish bites this with six pound line and a super bendy rod, like look at this, that is gonna be, <laughs> that's gonna be a fun fight. And there's a ton of logs down there too. So I'm just nervous. Like if you get a big fish on and you can't control him, he's gonna wrap us up and snap us. So if we catch a big one, it's gonna be a miracle. Oh, but God, look at all that bait, man. Holy moly. I need to start casting. We're probably surrounded. I gotta say, I'm not complaining too much about my combo. I mean, at least I got a bait caster. Right. So that's nice, especially with this crankbait combo. I can just cast this thing about as far as I want to. 
There's probably like 12 pound line or something on this, so real easily breakable. Look at this thing just go. Wow. This thing just doesn't stop. I barely even casted it. Well, I just, there's not a lot of activity. I know they're chasing shad some, but not, I haven't seen anything back here. Yeah. Normally, I, by now, I've already seen like some shad hanging out. I really have not seen any indication. I really want to see you try to set the hook with that thing. I do too. I'm really motivated to put you on fish just to see you try to fight them and land them with that rod, <laughs> with that noodle. Just made my first cast with a $10 combo. Put on a little tungsten weight, little slim shake. This is equivalent to a high-end pool noodle. Look at that thing. That ain't it. I feel like I would do better with a crankbait, but the thing is, my gear ratio on this reel is so slow. I can see all the shad in the water though. It's freaking stacked out here. Oh, dude, this thing honestly casts further than my DCs. <laughs> Do you see how far that, that literally hit the bank from here? I am just, I'm terrified. I mean, if a fish bites this thing, that my run reel is just going to fall in half. But it's casting good. Mojo keeps looking at us. He thinks we're going to catch one over here. I don't know what they're doing over there, but they're like huddled up the whole time. And I can't tell if they're scheming something or like, I don't know what they're doing. Why are y'all all on the front deck on a 12 foot boat? Oh my gosh. Guys, a freaking three pounder just skyrocketed right in front of the boat. That was nuts, bro. And of course my trap is gonna have his line wrapped around it. I would love to be the first on the board. I don't think anybody's caught a fish yet, but if I could just be first with the $10 ride and reel, I'd feel pretty good. Oh snap. Here's the secret sauce, dog. Oh! <laughs> Hit me in the forehead. Oh uh, yeah, we weren't gonna fish here anyways, it's fine. So we're playing dirty. There's cutthroat out here in the private yeah. middle class pond. Yo, yeah, are you guys actually throwing that? Yeah, man, that's all they want, dude. He said, are you guys actually throwing those? <laughs> yeah, man, yeah, for sure. They're going to that deep spot and dragging worms, bro. I say we do the same thing. Yeah, and later in the day, we'll throw the moving baits, but I think that worm bite's gonna be the move. All right, well, since I threw off my crank, I went ahead and changed strategies too. I used my tungstens and hooks that I bought, put a little slimy on. And see, here's the thing. This is why we have such an advantage, even without live scope. We know this lake so well, there's a giant tree right here. Now, I think they drifted over it and tried to fish it some, but they don't really know where it is as good as we are. So if somebody's gonna catch a big bass, I just have to believe it's gonna come off this tree. Dude, there's no way this line is gonna hold up in that tree. I'm gonna really regret the fact that I didn't change the line. Oh gosh, that's way too freaking tight. Holy moly. Think it'd be worth it to retie? Definitely. We can't go up on top of that tree right now. Okay. Not with just coming up on it. Oh my God, I thought I had a fish. Oh, did you? No. My heart actually stopped. <laughs> Um, yeah, I got one. Got one? Yeah. No, he ain't. No. Yo, oh, he's on, he's on. Let's go. It's a tree. No, it's a tree. It's a Let's tree. freaking go. Yeah. Florida man, dude. They ain't got nothing on us, Bama boys. No, they ain't got nothing. Yeah, hey, good practice, sir. You know, hey, that was a good looking tree, though. Like, it, it was. That. It was going to, it, my line was actually moving, <laughs> so. <laughs> So terrified to set the hook with this line. Maybe if I just never get a bite, I just won't have to worry about it. I'm just not feeling it like I normally do. Where I could just go after like limb over limb, you know, and just like scale the whole thing. I just ain't feeling it like that. Oh, the rod just broke. God, we're sitting right on top of this tree. <laughs> we might be able to see it. Look down, see if you can see it. Oh, we just hit it. <laughs> yeah, you hear that? <laughs> yeah, we definitely look, we stopped. <laughs> Don't let them know that they're that tree's back right there. Fish! Digging! Digging! He's, he's hung. He's hung. Oh, he's off. He's off. He's off. Yes, it is. He, yep. Yeah. Got the net. Oh, no! Woo! Dude, that was a tank. You see the way I set the hook? And it almost snatched the rod out of my hand? Because I was dragging it like going like this. He almost took the rod out of my hand. Line broke. He got me in a tree. There's a big tree right here. Look, I know everybody says it was a donkey when you lose it, but like the way that I was drifting, you see how I set the hook? Yeah. I tried to go like this. I almost lost the rod, so I grabbed it up here and like did that. Did you 
feel like a tug? No, oh yeah. No, he almost pulled the rod out of my hand as I was pulling it and drifting. I was thinking about, see how like this... <laughs> that I, no, return. Yeah, it's actually, oh. <laughs> it's your IRS. Oh, I got one, I got one. Let's go! Oh, let's go! He's tight, was that all the worst? Yeah, as soon as it hit the water. Let's go! I'm casting there too. He's super small. Hey, that's the first fish landed if you get him in. Devin, Devin. <laughs> it makes it fun though. <laughs> <laughs> yes, let's go! We're on the board. Dude, as soon as it hit the water, he just said, slurpy derpy. Oh, I got a scale. We have to do that. Yeah, we have to weigh him. 0.96 is the mark to beat. Hey, 0.96, mark to beat. Nice. <laughs> All right, guys, first fish on the board. Not the first bite, though. Lojo lost an absolute tank that would have won this whole game. But first fish on the board, we broke the ice. Let's get it back in the water. Out of boy. Bro, your rod was <laughs> yeah. tripled over. I, that was, I literally thought you had a freaking behemoth on, man. Well, I thought I would have too until he flashed sideways. Yeah. And I was like, oh, okay, it's a ding. Bro, it does though. With these combos, it makes that, that .96 pounder fight Dude, so much fun. Man. I'm I'm terrified to get a tank on now after that. Yeah. Like nah. the rod's just going to be in the water. <laughs> like, just completely in the water. <laughs> No, I think we caught like 15. Wait. But there? Yeah, on this tree. Remember, Lojo was beating me like 6 to 0, and then we just went dummy mode on the tree? I might have a fish. Yep. Oh, oh, oh. Devin's on. Devin's on. Let's go. Devin's on. Devin's Let's on. go. Oh, my gosh. He was hanging out right in the. Yep. Shoot. Shoot. <laughs> Yo, look how barely hooked he is. Holy cow. Do you think this light line is almost an advantage because we're fishing with such lighter line that they're not used to seeing? Yeah, well, yeah, it's they definitely natural. can't see yeah. that light line. I think we're going to get more bites. This is definitely smaller than the other one. Yeah. So we're just going to stick with the other one's the biggest so far. All right, guys, second fish. I'm the only one out here. You know, you know how I got one, one too. Let's go. Oh, I'm on. Oh, I'm Double on. up, baby. We're tight, baby. Is he good? Horse hooks at all time. Probably not, but you know, you never, you can't tell till you see him on these combos. Oh, we're tight. We're He's tight, running. baby. Stay on there. Stay on there. Double tugs, baby. The, the way Norm is cranking it in, it's probably about eight ounces. Norm gets down like this and he's just like, stay on there. How many times I got a real one? in the real? world? Yeah, I've reeled it like a hundred <laughs> times. Oh, bro, he might actually be Yeah, no, big, he's bro. running. Oh, oh, oh. Dude, where's he at? Oh, good let's one. go. Bring it here. Oh, wow. <laughs> no, no. Don't do that. Football guy. Oh, yes, sir. Kaboom. Let's go, dude. <laughs> That's nuts. Well, you're in the lead now. Bro, look at how he ate that slim shake. Use code norm 10% off on googlesquad.com if you want your fish to eat your lure like that. Let's freaking go, man. Thanks for finding the fish for me, bro. I appreciate it. Dude, that was probably like a two-minute fish fight on this $50 yeah, combo. <laughs> this is ridiculous. He was running. All right, All right, zeroed out. Yeah, I need pliers. They're like high key because he done swallowed it like um. Probably two or three. Yeah, keeper size. Okay. They're stepping the game out. That's all right. All right. Any guesses on the weight, man? I'm saying four max. I think it's four right on the dot. See, I feel like it's like three on the dot, but I don't know. I haven't caught like a, a fish in like a couple years. So 3.08 oh, on the dot. Dang, so dude. I don't, I feel good about Jeez. that. I do not feel safe with a 3.08. It definitely helps because you saw how long it took me to reel this fish in. And I know all the other boys, I got the second best budget. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to be in trouble if I, I hook a three pounder. I'm so happy I hooked a three pounder. On obviously what we had to, if this was just a normal combo, I'd be like, yeah, cool. A three pounder. Yeah. But on the Walmart stuff, that is epic. Look at that boy. What a beautiful bass, man. Don't think we're gonna live well because we just want these fish to live. So uh, me and Dev got an Instagram picture. Follow me on Instagram at Fishing with Norm if you guys haven't. So you can see fish before the video is even released. But um, there we go. Oh, they're main motoring up wow. over here. I see how it is. Jeez. Alrighty. Oh, there she goes. Oh, you're just gonna do a dance. Dance, oh, dance. Oh, do it. Oh, oh. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> oh, oh. This is the longest. <laughs> <laughs> this is the biggest tease of my life. Jump. You know you want to jump. Oh, he's just saying, hey. Oh, he's coming back. Let's go. Catch him with your hands, Zay. Catch him with your hand. <laughs> you want him to come back? <laughs> oh, there he goes. <laughs> that was crazy. Dude, let's get back in there, yeah, man. Yeah, we got to. That was a double up, and we spent way too much time watching a fish swim back to the boat. Hey, check your line, bro. Oh, facts. So we avoid a heartbreak like Lojo had? Yeah, my line is so frayed, man, and we didn't even have it on a stump or nothing. So I'm going to retie real quick, guys. This is like four pound test. Can't be playing around when it's this light. Um, yeah, you might have one too. 
Yep. Oh, I'm on. Let's go. Oh, oh, hold up. Hold oh, up. oh. I'm just replying. Keep him on there, Devin. Keep him on there. Oh, it's another oh, good let's one. Go. Man. Holy dude, cow. he didn't even hit. He just slowly picked us up. Dude, oh, we oh. found the spot. We oh found, my god. Need me to land him for you. Oh my gosh, Devin, I'm, I'm trying. This is so to much fun. Need my help. Uh, maybe. Oh my god. Oh, watch oh. the Troy motor. Watch the Troy motor. Oh my, dude, it's so much fun fighting him <laughs> on this thing. Oh. Is it good? Yeah. No, well, it's not as good as yours, but. Oh! Stay down. <laughs> oh, jeez, I'm gonna lose my tungsten weight, dude. All right, all right, bring it to me. Oh. Oh. Come here. Stop. Stop that. No! <laughs> I got her. Let's, Let's go, go, dude. Dude, swallowed it again. They are eating oh. the Mondo worms. You got the Mondo worm. I got, yeah, I got the shake. Mondo. They are freaking eating it. Good, man. I definitely don't think it's bigger than Norm's. I'm gonna say, like, Two four maybe. These twos are bullying us. Two five six. Hey. So you're still in the lead. That's a thick one too, bro. That one's been eating yeah. good on those shots. The shot, yeah. Like I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, he's a thick boy. Keep dragging through right here. A five pounder is literally like somewhere right here, ready to eat a slim shake worm. Now, can we land him on this gear? I don't know, dude. I have not caught a big bass on this lake anywhere except for right here except for that one that seven that we caught over there on that bank but that was shallow it was like top water it was a weird that's back when they were swirling all the time in the shallows so guys here's the rig i've been using so basically we have those uh 316 ounce bullet weights we got from walmart the hooks we got from walmart and then the slim shakes courtesy of uh norm's boat here and we got the natural color it almost looks like they, they eat on shadow here like crazy so i like this like silver on the bottom and then just that natural like green kind of worm color and the water's a little dirty out here so i've been taking my rattling chunks and I've been actually taking the rattles out of the rattling chunk because the water is kind of dirty down there. It makes a little bit of extra noise, helps those fish find that lure. And I've been shoving the uh, the rattle into the worm. We've been calling it, there's bass blowing up over there. We've been calling <laughs> it the norm rig where we just shove a rattle in the, uh, the worm. And it's caught us plenty of, uh, me and Devin out at Lake X caught multiple tens and nines on it, but I like to shove it in between where the hook goes, right here at the base. Just makes a little bit of extra noise, makes that worm easier to find. And I feel like it gets ate more often than if it's just silent. But that might just be me. I mean, it's like we're already behind the eight ball now. Like now we've only got like an hour of good light left. So we kind of need to make some adjustments and decisions. And I just don't have any confidence over here, man. I mean, I've never caught fish over here. I got a fish. No. Good, good, good. I think it came off. Yep, 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 yep. So guys, we got 20 more minutes here of the hour long fishing challenge. That sun is getting behind the trees. I've forgotten fall time and up here in Alabama too, that we're an hour behind, so it gets dark an hour earlier. But uh, yeah, we got 20 minutes left. I'm about to re-rig up because I snapped off. And uh, yeah, we'll see who wins. I just got off the phone with Ao. He was saying they caught one. I don't know if they're telling the truth or not. Our boat has landed four. Uh, yeah, I might even tie in the trap just to get a little spicy. Ooh, it's on. Yeah, we got 20 minutes left. Oh, there might be something right there. Let me follow it up with something a little slower. I'll be this fast down. I got a fish. Got the hook. Shh. How good? I don't know. Oh, it God. looks good. No, he ain't, he ain't, but he'll get us on the board. Are you sure? Oh, dang. Oh, I'm on the board. But we already know that they got a bigger one than this over there, so. Wow, he got hooked really weird through his nose. All these fish out here, you'll notice they're freaking healthy. Like, that's a freaking football right there. Well, I ain't keeping that because that would be insulting. The gigantic bass that are in this lake. Okay, if I was able to spot some offshore structure, well, he just got bit on a crank. Not a terrible sign, but God, we gotta have something bigger than that. I slung my rattle trap into oblivion. Oh, I got one. Let's go. We're tight, we're tight, we're tight. I don't know, I don't think so. He was out in the middle, bro. Okay, we're good, we're good. Come here, buddy. Man, that drag is loose, man. Oh, he got, now he got me hung up. Oh, he's he's still on there, he's coming up. You sure he's not big? Oh, he's, dang it, man, he got me wrapped up in a tree. Just stay calm, buddy. Oh, shoot. I should have reeled him quicker. I was trying to see if my camera was on, guys, and I, my drag was super loose and he wrapped me around a tree. That's what we were worried about. The big ones hang out down here. I don't know. He was definitely, they definitely had him for like 10 seconds. Dang it. 
The trees is our story, man. We should have bought like 30 oh pound line. Oh yeah, he popped off. <sighs> Shoot guys, this is what we get when we do the Walmart challenge. You're gonna, you're gonna have heartbreak. We were talking about it before and it happened. Guys, we're loading the boats up. As you can tell, we stayed out here till dark. Uh, me and Danglin only managed to pull in four fish. And from my boat right now, this is a big fish competition. I'm in the lead. We haven't talked with uh, with Lojo and Ao after we called and gave him like that 20 minute update. So uh, we'll see what they have once I load the boat up. But so far, I, I mean, I think I got this in the bag unless they caught a big one. I feel like we would have heard. All right, guys, time to see who has won the challenge. It was a, it was a tough day. We didn't have a lot of time because it's yeah. it's getting in, it's no longer summer. The days are shorter. Our boat caught a total of four. Devin caught three. I caught the biggest being 3.06. So how did you that guys do? I had a $10 run reel, so. <laughs> <laughs> we all saw, I mean, I, I had a pretty big one on, I'm pretty sure. I, mean, I saw I, that, yeah. There's no way of knowing how big it was. I think it's safe to assume it was bigger than three pounds. Yeah, I think so as well. But, <laughs> you know, there's, there's a giant tree out there, and I mean, I wasn't ready. Yeah. I was like trolling it. We were drifting. We were talking to you guys, and all of a sudden, it was just like a uh, hook set, and it was just. And I was using $30 equipment. I had $100, but you know, my rod and reel was kind of janky. It only ended up with one. And we didn't weigh it, but it was probably like a pound. It may have been like no, a pound shit. and a quarter. It was a fat fish, but no chance it was close to two pounds. No, so. it, um, I'd also like to say AO did not catch a single fish. So there was no contribution. Well, you didn't have to throw It didn't have to do with that. $10. Dollars, so. Set that clear yeah. for the record. <laughs> Make sure you guys don't subscribe to it. No, <laughs> so remember, 10,000 likes on this video. AO's changing his name. Let's We're going go, to baby. Academy. He probably won't change his name, but maybe not if you guys hit 11,000, he might. Subscribe to AO Fishing. Lojo Fishing, they're gonna be linked down below. And then I think you gotta have a thousand subs to be linked in a video, but dangling with Dev, go subscribe to him. So get him to a thousand subs. Yeah, but, um, you got him to a thousand subs, yeah? No, I'm at uh, 700. Dang. 700, so you guys got that easy. Thank no, you guys so much for easy. watching. Use the code Norm so I don't uh, lose my job. And until next fishing adventure, fish bump, I'm out of here. Bink.